Well, 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 would you just look at it? Just look at it. Just look at this, guys. Look at all these goddamn dark heroes that I was able to manage. So if you checked out my previous video, guys, my summoning video, my summoning sucked. I absolutely got nobody but one Hydra, all right? If you want to go take a look at that, it'll be somewhere in my videos. My summoning sucked terribly, but now you're wondering, but Andy, how the hell do you have so many of these dark heroes and the new guy? I got two of the new guys, guys, so... Welcome to the channel, guys. We are about to six-star Death Envoy here. Damn it, notification. So we're about to six-star this guy. And I'm going to take you guys through the process, how we're going to do it. And I'm going to show you how I did it. Because once I did my summonings, I used everything I had. <coughs> it was pathetic. I didn't get nothing. I used so many gems. I used all my keys. Nothing at all. My luck was shitty. It didn't work. Right? So I was like, screw this. End of the video. I was done. But then, if you noticed... I had a shit ton of fruit, guys. I think I had like 148 fruit. I used 48 of them bitches on the dark faction. And that's how I did it. I also used some of these. About five re-rolls of this. So I got my first one from the fruits. I got my second one from the re-rolls. And while I was at it, I added up a bunch of different dark, you know, dark heroes. Let's just go ahead to the dark faction. So check it out. My dark pool is a lot bigger, guys. So... I'm pretty sure now I kind of have no choice but to roll with a uh, dark aura team. Uh, so if you don't know what that is, I'm going to take you guys in the arena real quick. Because I kind of forgot myself, right? We're not going to really battle, but we're just going to test it out. Alright, so right now I'm running... <coughs> excuse me. I'm running a, a rainbow, 15% attack, 15% reduce hurt. That's alright. The, the good thing about rainbow is you can kind of pick the best... You know, one of the best heroes in each faction which is kind of cool you know a lot of variety it's fun it's exciting it's not bad uh if you go with a certain type of aura you're kind of obviously you are only sticking to that aura so you have to only use heroes from that aura so even though bad ones that you don't really like you have to use them kind of but anyways so if we go with a uh, dark faction these are our boosts 15 percent health that's nice 25 percent attack that's good and a 10 percent skill damage i like that a lot i like I love this aura, I think it's a good aura for both PvE and PvP, so that's kind of why I'm going with this one, and obviously since I got so many dark heroes now, <clears throat> it makes my decision really simple guys, so let's go ahead, let's jump right into it. Alright, here we are in the fusions, now I can do a couple of different stuff, I can 6 star uh, death clock here, I can 6 star another hydro, which I don't even need to, but we're not looking at that, we're looking at the dark factions now. Look at this. This is amazing. I can 6-star two heroes here, but Death Envoy is the one that we're going for, obviously. The newer hero. Let's go ahead, guys. Let's just put him right in there. Let's do this. And not only are we going to do this, but we're going to get some cool equipment out of it as well for 6-starring your hero. So it's pretty exciting. I'm actually excited to do this one. So let's see. Hmm, who am I going to get rid of? Um, hmm, hang on a second. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me go. Oh no, they both need the coral reef. Damn it! Alright, well that's fine. Makes my decision, I guess, easier. Because I can't six star both of them right now. But Alright, uh, to be honest guys, I'm going to have to go with these three guys. That's my fodder. I have duplicates of everybody else. How about that? <coughs> Boy, I had a popcorn kernel on my way in here. And now I'm choking. I can't seem to get it out. Get out of me, you freaking colonel. But look at this, guys. Two of everything. How about that? That's pretty sick. Wow. Anyways, let's go ahead. Fusion! There we have it, boys and girls. Six-star Darth Envoy. Ooh! But I can't six-star this guy. Uh, missing somebody there. All right. Sweet. Let's go into our mail and check it out. We've got some Valkyries. Him. All right. Take that. We'll take the other gold and resources there and let's take a look at our newest six star hero there he is now i have to upgrade him all the way to level 100 i hope i have enough resources because to be honest oh i might oh i should to be honest i've been really working on a bunch of different heroes lately so i've been using up a lot of my resources instead of saving him for something special i've been kind of using him all around 
because my team is not set. I'm still having a hard time deciding, you know, what team to go with. But now I think my decision has been made, guys. I am going with the dark. What am I doing? I'm going with the dark faction. It's kind of my mind is made up, guys. I'm ruling with the dark faction because of Death Envoy and the Night Daughter. Because I am all about them daughters. That's right. Give me all the Night Daughters. And uh, let's upgrade this guy. Oh, yeah. 140. Can we get him to 140? Uh, we should. Yee, we're running low. All right. So there he is. 140, guys. We'll break down his abilities in just a second. Let us do this. Let's equip them, obviously, with the new stuff. Woohoo! And what do we need here? So three here and one more. Dark uh, Death Envoy. Shit. Now this makes it a little bit tempting, guys. Now I'm tempted. <laughs> Crap. Do I go and re-roll some more? Oh, for, to try to get them? Or do I not? Do I wait? Shit. This is tough, guys. But I think I'm going to be patient and wait like I've been doing. Right? Yeah, I might just be patient with them, guys. I'm not going to try to rush and 10-star them. Whatever. Right away. I'm going to wait. Wait it off a little bit here. I'm happy with everything he's on so far. Let's upgrade this a little bit as much as we can. We got to break down his abilities and see what I need to do with his artifact here. Let's see. Hmm. All right. Can we do... This is my last one. Yeah. Attack and hit. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Let's go. Let's break down the abilities and see what this guy can do. Ultimate deals 400% damage. <laughs> wow. 400% to the enemy with the lowest. Oh, are you kidding me right now, dude? To the enemy with the lowest HP. This damage will, will must crit. Man, who the hell wrote this? Five-year-olds? This damage will must crit. So improper. When the enemy's HP is below 60%. All right, all right. So 400% damage to the hero with the lowest HP, which means... <laughs> Death. 400% is a shit ton of percent, guys. Uh, that's high. And it's a must crit if the enemy is below 60%. And obviously, if they are the lowest HP, they're most likely going to be under 60%. So, it's pretty much a death sentence with this hit. Very cool. I like that a lot. So, that's really, really nice. A really good ability right there. 90% chance to restore all fury points when he... When he killing enemies. Man. Dude. Again with the writing. 90% chance to restore all fury. When he killing enemies. <laughs> okay. Third one. Change normal attack to deal 140 damage to one random backline enemy. Hmm. Death twins. Okay. Nice. And fourth ability. Every attack steals enemies 50% fury point and 10 percent speed for two rounds wow this is pretty dope man this guy's got some sick abilities guys wow i am very impressed with his abilities jeez this makes him one of the best assassins in the game already wow very very impressive very impressive so another option that i had before i started this guys is i could have eight star <coughs> my hydro look at this i have everything i've got that's I got a, two more hydras and some fodder. Bam! I could have eight star this. This would have been good on my team. <coughs> Let's take a look at this. Oh shoot! Damn! I can also eight star her, but I would have to sacrifice death envoy. No, not doing that. So that's for sure. But um, I'm very close to. Damn! I got a lot of possibilities here, guys. A lot of possibilities. Now, who else do I want on this team? That is the question. I already got... Let's see, I got two. Three, actually. At level 100, I have uh, the Ocean Breaker. Obviously, Night Daughter. And I have the Death Envoy. So, that's three right there. They're all DPS, though. You kind of got to balance everything out. <clears throat> I want Nine-Headed Dragon. This dude is a beast. A backline killer. So, I want him in there. That's four. I'm probably going to go with, uh, obviously, my tank. He's the only tank in... This faction, Wild Hammer, 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 ha Hammer. Let's see, deals 90% uh, damage to all enemies and has a 10% chance to stun the enemy for one round. Whoa, that's not bad, Wild Hammer. Take it easy, bro. 
All right, so we got the wild hammer there. Now, that would be five, which means I have one spot left, guys. One spot left, and my options will probably be Night King, which is also another great DPS hero. This guy is not bad at all. Deals 240% damage to the frontline enemies and increases heroes hit by 50% for two rounds. Um... When damaged, he uh, the hero has a 30% chance to counterattack. Ooh. Whenever the hero whenever our hero dies, increase the hero's attack by 25% stackable. Very sick abilities right here. Hmm. Or go with Hell Gatekeeper. He's a healer. Hmm. Deals heroes with lowest HP. Not one of the best healers. This hero dies. Heals our hero our hero with the lowest HP. Man. This is going to be tough, guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with Hell Gatekeeper or Night King. Night King is a beast. I got a ranger. Two rangers there. Mm, Jesus Christ. It's a tough choice. I'm going to think about that for a little bit. Because I don't have the resources right now to work on all of them anyways. So I'm going to spread them out and see how it's going to go. But those are probably going to be my five right there. And then I'll think about my last one. Problem is, not that much crowd control with this team for the arena. A lot of damage though, a lot of damage. Probably gonna be great for PvE. But PvP, we'll see how it goes. We can adjust things as we go, but for now, that's it guys. Let's go ahead and go into a battle. I wanna show you guys the new hero into a battle in the arena here and see what he can do, right? That's what we're here for. Let's make sure we're not attacking somebody in our own guild. Oh, crappers. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna replace him with Night Daughter, guys, just so I can still have the aura. And I want to just see what he can do without her. Let's see. Let's go. All right. Let's slow it down a little bit here. Okay. No, I didn't really. I should have compared his speed a little bit here. To, to see what speed he's got above everybody else. But here he goes. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. You see that, guys? He killed uh, the Oblivion Dragon there, right? Because it was the lowest HP. Now, he's, because of his abilities, his fury is all the way up again. Now, he's going to ultimate again, guys, which means it's another death sentence to the lowest HP hero, which is probably going to be that tank in the front there. What the hell? Oh, he was silenced, I think. Yep, he was silenced, so he didn't use his ultimate. Come on, homie. I need that ultimate. Oh, wow. All right, he didn't kill him because it wasn't under 60%. Mmm, that sucks. But all in all, that was still really good. That was pretty dope. A lot of damage by this guy. A lot of damage. Look, he's got another ultimate to go here. And it's going to be a killer. Boop! Yo, this dude deals some crazy damage. His abilities are literally almost one-hit KOs. <laughs> Six stars. And he almost did as much damage as my seven-star Hydra. Maxed out to seven stars. So, that's impressive right there. One. Two, Hydra is an AoE hitting hero, so she hits multiple heroes at once, which obviously the damage is increased, does more damage. So don't let the damage fool you. This dude is a beast. That is a lot of damage. Trick Dozer does a lot of damage too because he's got bleed and he hits everybody. AoE damage. But single target damage doing that much damage is incredible, guys. You already saw he took out one hero and then he hit that, I think it was the lion, uh, Furious Lion for a shit ton of damage. So... Very impressive, guys. Very impressive. I'm very happy to have this guy on my team. So, let's do one more battle, and then we will leave it off at that. Let's go with this here. Let's do it. Death Envoy. I'm pretty excited to have this guy right now. So, he's second fastest on my team, I think. Yep, second fastest. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Oh, ultimate. Ah, I did take her out. That's one tough chick. But I think with the nine tail, nine headed dragon, this would be a good combo with him and the nine headed dragon and night daughter. Um, because it's kind of, he's kind of going to hit anybody, whoever is the lowest HP. Nine headed dragon is going to hit the back line really hard. Night daughter is going to hit the front line really hard. So it's going to be a balance of everybody hitting from all angles. So it's kind of hard to defend against that. But looks like I'm about to lose this one. Night daughter is dead. His fury is all the way back up, but I'm about to lose. Damn it! Well, like, yeah, this his team was literally all six-star heroes and mine was not. God, oh man, that's bad. We lost that one. But, 
Yeah! Damage was still high, but we lost the battle, which kind of sucks. But anyways, guys, that's about it for today. I'm going to end this off here. I will catch you guys next time on another epic summoners video. So then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Peace out, everybody.